Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today, we are headed to the barn. First, we're gonna get Jeff. We're gonna spend a lot of hours at the barn. Hey, we're riding our horses, exercising them. I'll explain more when we get there. I've got all the goods. I've got cookies. I've got yogurt tubes for Jack. I've got water. I've got all the fruit. Tomatoes for me, raspberries for him, apples, oranges. And I've got toilet paper. Sam got this thing of toilet paper. Last night, there was four on the shelf and you're only allowed to have one. So they have a limit now. One of our friends that rides with us, they have none and haven't been able to get any. They've been waiting outside of stores before they open and still have been unsuccessful. So I said she could have our little pack that we just got. And the thing is, Sam is so mad at me. He's like, that's worth 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks for friends, 50 bucks for strangers. It's like, oh, you don't give it away when, you don't give stuff away when you're in a pandemic. And I believe the complete opposite. I think that God helps those who help other people. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're giving away our life saving toilet paper. Some other countries, they have closed everything up. They have made everybody go on self isolation. I feel it's coming here. Like we're a couple weeks behind most places. I feel it coming. Do you think it's going to happen, Sam? Self-isolation? No. <laughs> Why? Like, if Sam gets off work, if they kick Sam out of work, which is probably going to happen because he works in a big area, then we're going to work on our fence, fix up our property, and hopefully bring our boys home. If we get stuck at home and we can't go to the bar, and then our boys are going to have to come home. And I have some different ideas for our field when we fix it. It's not going to be those big, huge fields. It's going to be smaller, more manageable. And we're going to put more permanent fencing, like stronger poles in for now. And anyway, we're going to fix it all up. And yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I can't even say pray for us because you all are in the same exact predicament. I'm so sorry that this is happening. But I do want to say that God knows everything. He sees the whole global picture. He knows it all, you guys. He sees everything. And he knows what's good for us and what we need. And so sometimes it's a leap of faith. And we just sometimes we have to just take a leap of faith and trust and believe. And you know what? A couple of weeks at home with your family stuck in the house could only be amazing. There are either going to be a lot of divorces soon or a lot of babies in nine months. Sam just bought 50 Timbits. Those are little teeny tiny donuts. And I said, that's great. We're meeting friends at the barn. We can share them. From inside of the donut. And what did you say? Not sharing them, it's a pandemic. Every man for themselves. <laughs> and then he said, when are you gonna learn this? When are you gonna learn this? It's a pandemic. Once you run out of toilet paper? <laughs> yeah, once you run out of toilet paper, and I got toilet paper for sale if anybody wants any. I believe that God helps those who help other people, you guys. Trust me, trust me on this one. Who do you guys think is right, <laughs> Sam or me? Share in a pandemic or not? He also said that you're not supposed to pass things around because of germs, blah, 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 blah. Changes to the barn, hand sanitizer, please use it. Jack got a new stroller. I just have to tie him up, put in some mitts on so he's warm. I think, Nona, put your hat on backwards. Oh, you see the horses? Yeah. Got Storm. Um, you know what, Gabby? The cat came up to Jack and was hissing at him. Uh, hissing. Mom, there's hand sanitizer. I know. Use it. Sophie clearly has still not had a bath to wash her hair. Listen, cat. None of my stuff. This is how much stuff you have to bring when you bring a baby. Those are not jumps that you need to be jumping, I feel like. It's beautiful in here, though. Look at how gorgeous it is. All right, so Jack is confused by his gloves. I couldn't find his mitts in his bag, so he's wearing Nana's gloves, and he was looking at them like I was crazy. So today we're meeting Rachel from Ray's Riding on YouTube and Shayla Equestrian from YouTube. We're all gonna ride together. Look at these jumps, though. Like, look at that. That was Brandon jumping that, I bet you. Like, look at that. I love this setup though. Like, it's beautiful. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> There's baby Jack. He's going to jump some jumps. Jump! Jump! <laughs> He's excited. Woo! 
I want to tell you guys about a really bad thing. It's my dream. This is how my life gets so stressful and then I panic and then I worry. This is why I'm a worrier, you guys. So at the beginning of last week, I had a dream and it was Storm and Gabby riding in this little corner of the barn and he had angel wings like Stella. Storm had angel wings and Gabby was riding him. And when I woke up, I was like, Ooh, that's so weird. Like, I hope Storm's not gonna die. And I was panicking a little bit, but then I was like, Laura, it's just a dream, even though a lot of my dreams come true. And I don't know what it meant. It could have just meant that he's like a angel horse or he's like got wings because he rides so fast now. So then I didn't think anything else about it until our farrier came on Thursday and he put these new shoes on storm and now i'm really panicking that they're because he said he wouldn't put them on in the winter because it's icy outside but our footing is like kind of slippery there's a lot of water that seeps into this arena so no matter what they do to the arena it's always kind of wet they put this stuff in it magnesium is that what it is mag something they put all these these things into the into the dirt to kind of absorb the to kind of absorb the water and make it like better footing but I'll show you his feet. I'm still really nervous. Like, this is gonna be a nerve wracking ride for me. Hey, Storm. All right, let me see your feet, dirty boy. Okay. Uh oh. I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. What the heck are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So, this is it. Like, so, they cut the horseshoe off way up here and just then this is the, good. yeah and then this is the back you just have to clean it the best you can he said but and he puts studs in see these little studs and you just have to try and get the dirt out of there Daddy, can I use your main brush? we'll have to rig up something to get the dirt out of there anyway our farrier is just trying these shoes there? there's no dirt in there can I use your main brush? Our horses are not shedding super bad right now because that's not a lot. Eventually, all the hair will come off. And for all the people who say you should have, you should have shaved your horse, blah blah blah, we use blankets instead of shedding. Maybe next year we'll start um, doing some shaving, depending on the amount of work that they do. But for the amount of work that we do with our horses, I don't want to shave my horse. Yeah, we're listen. It has to come off. You have a gross, disgusting eye. See, I got it. Gross. See? I got it. See? It's disgusting. <laughs> happy boy. How come you're so happy? He's got raspberry on his nose. He got into our truck today. Oh, oh he's saying no. <laughs> Horse. Horse. He got into our truck today and he put his hand to his mouth and did the sign language sign for give me food <laughs> because he knows Nana always gives him raspberries, huh? You like Nana's food, right? He looks like Edward Scissorhands with his mitts. <laughs> come on, you want to run around before all the horses come in? Come on, let's do it. Come on. There's a video I tried to look for it last night when Brooklyn was like one and a half years old and I took her to the barn, to the horse barn when the girls were riding and I said, Brooklyn, when you are a bigger girl, I promise I'll make sure you can ride horses. And now look at where we are. I was gonna try and add that little clip into our video yesterday but I couldn't find the video. So today I'm gonna say, Jack, one day when you are bigger, Nana is going to make sure you get an opportunity to ride horses if you want, okay? He's like, that's good. I'll just run. Sam's already lowering the jumps. He's like, our kids are not jumping these jumps when they're on our watch. Like, there's no way. <laughs> This is the biggest playground for a little boy, huh? Such a good dad, systematically taking apart all the jumps that Gabby was excited about. This is Jack's first, first ride on a horse, you guys. We're gonna get to see it live. Here we go. Ugh. Let's ride your saddle, Jack. Don't get dirt on it. Man, the horse. 
little walk. Is that fun? Was it fun? He's confused. No. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Go away. He stormy. me. He did not love it. <laughs> What'd you think? I think he didn't like it because when I took him off, he was saying no to the horse. Anyway, so for anybody who's asking, uh, we do keep up on our riding all of our horses. We have three horses here. We ride all of them at least storm gets at least two times a week He used to get three but with the switch of Sophie riding Finn, He's now getting two at least sometimes three rides a week uh, Last week we had trouble with some he had a problem with his shoes just before the farrier came the day before So he missed a ride, but don't worry. We always take care of all of our horses he looks good. Does he look forward? Seem forward? He's not too forward. I feel like Storm feels good though. Imagine if the whole time all we needed was better feet, feet for Storm. Like wouldn't that just be awful? Before we got him, a couple owners ago, he had all four shoes. What are you doing? I'm turning and cantering away. Oh, you're turning and cantering away. And I'm not doing jumping. Nope. He's fresh. He's like, yes, I'm so glad to have a rider again. We could see no reason why we should ever try to go to sleep. So Sophie sh finally showed up. Storm is fresh, and we also have Rachel here. Rachel's riding Sparky. Hi. Are you videoing your ride for your channel? Yeah, I am. All right, so you guys can check out Rachel on Ray's riding. Finn spooked, and Sam looks at me. He looks at me like, oh, I better close this door. Can you close? Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Sophie's not getting on today. Maybe that's a sign. All right, we have our own lesson. Sam, get out there and make make a lesson for them. All right, everybody off their horse, put the horse away. If Sam had his way, that's what life would be. Let's all sit down, watch a movie, relax. In Canada. This might be one of the last few times you guys are together at the barn, so we gotta soak it all in. Yeah, that's okay. Just go at your own pace, Sophie. I may have to be riding alone. Mm -hmm. So after this, the reason Gabby came in right away is because she still has to exercise another whole horse. Not part of the horse, like a whole horse? A whole horse. <laughs> Not just a half of them. We have two super risky girls and two less risky girls. And one happy baby. <laughs> That's the real reason we wanted you to stay. Do do duty. That's what we Okay, we're gonna cut Daddy Duty. Oh, <gasps> Okay, this is making me nervous. Alrighty. What happened? Okay, we're keeping in mind that other people are in the arena. Sophie and Finn are not. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Coco thinks of that. <laughs> 
He seems pretty chill. I can tell when he puts his head up high she's prancing. She can tell when he puts his head up high and prances, he's not going to have a good ride. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream. We could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep. Forever. You taught me how to love And nothing could be better than you and me You and me, baby, it was you and me We could never fall But nobody could break us Yeah, I thought we had it all Take me back to when it was you and me You and me, baby, it was you and me I think he looks good. <laughs> He's like coming to me, save me, save me. Good, this is good for him. I'm so glad we got to ride him. Good boy. Rachel said, let's do pears jumping. And I said, Storm does not do pears anything. One time Brandon, one time Brandon and Kaylee we're doing it together, pairs together, and he kicked Tex. But he's done more than that. He does not agree with that. You're walking over this, but you're going over. Good boy. Like what? Sophie has to build up confidence, and that's where she's at right now. And that's okay. That's a big one. Good boy. Why didn't you try the other one? Oh, because. She's nervous. Because it was only you and me, you and me back then. We were never growing up, said we'd be young forever. You taught me how to love, and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me. Baby, it was you and me. We can never fall. <laughs> That's his only speed. <laughs> I 
has an anger problem. <laughs> yeah. And he always does it by people. <laughs> He's like, oh, I am stopping right now. Baby, it was you and me. He sees the jump and he doesn't get excited. They're looking at each other. Oh, look at he's like looking at. They're looking at Gabby. He's looking at Gabby like you better not be. See, he watches like he knows what's happening. If you let me go back there, I'll put him in the cross ties and you can take the saddle. No, because you still have to let me go through. Look at his face is covered in hay. Chino's girth is starting to get tighter. Although this is not Chino's girth. It's this is. Is it our girth? Yes. Yeah? It is starting to get tighter. It's that ultimate finish 100. That stuff put, packs on the pounds. Look at his legs are dirty. You should brush them better. Okay, so Sophie and I are going to take Finn and Storm back out. And Gabby's going to play Chase Me Charlie with Rachel. And it's going to be posted on Ray's channel, Ray's Riding. If you guys want to watch it, it's going to be fun. She's going to be riding oh Chino. God. And I just want to say though, before we put these guys outside, Sophie's going to get him some more treats. This horse has had nothing to make him calm and he literally loves Sophie. Like he is a different horse with, with Sophie and Gabby. Like I can't even get over the difference in this boy. Like I, I'm amazed with him and so proud of him. Like, Gab, so he wanted to ride him so badly that she fought her own demons to get there. And I swear, he, after Gabby riding him, even though Gabby did amazing, he was like, listen, I'll just behave if you let Sophie ride me. Like, they, he knows. Like, proud, so proud. And the thing with Storm is that, if you saw, the thing with Storm is that he only goes so, so fast. And if you make him go, like you can make a horse go. And if you force him, then he will fuck you off. Like, And then the cure for that is if he like gets angry that you make him go and he tries to buck then or do whatever, then make him go, like make him go forward. And Gabby has tried that before. And then when she does that, he's like, oh, if you want me to go forward, I will go forward. Like dude knows how to play the game. Like he, he just wants to be a pony. He just wants to be a baby pony. He just wants well, to babysit some little tiny kids. Uh oh. That he is. I'm so pretty sure every horse loves him. Sophie's got the best treats. I gave him a carrot and some dry treats. All right, let's take them out. Is that his his lead rope? That one? Yeah. No. Where's his lead rope? It's from the mute. 